Hey guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. It's your girl Nikki, and we're back with another period pool gang video. I'm that person too. My bestie is too. You know I'm so extra. You know I'm so extra. Here I am. Who? 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 So today we're going to talk about period related breakouts the ultimate guide to period related breakouts breakouts the acne is all of them something there that comes on when you're going to menstruate so first it's like a battlefield we're going into this battlefield so you need to know how to prepare for this battlefield so the, the easiest way to or the easiest thing to do is to know if it's a a hormonal breakout or just a regular breakout so how to differentiate between the two is the timing so hormonal or period breakouts usually around the time of your period it flares up you see this big bump or them big stuff there all over your face on your chin in your forehead here everywhere sometimes persons have back acne like me i have back acne when it's those times so those things they flare up around those times and they usually clear up after your menstruation is finished you can have lots of blemish type you have blackheads whitehead papules pustule nodules or even cysts the big ones with the pus so why does it flare up guess what dang it's the hormones so when you're on your period my hair oh my god right so when you're on your period or throughout your menstrual cycle your hormone fluctuates so just before your period starts estrogen and progesterone hormones the levels drop so this triggers your sebaceous glands to secrete more sebum this is an oily substance that lubricates the skin so too much of it can clog your pores and cause the breakout that we see and that we don't want so yeah hormones 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 and basically hormones can increase skin inflammation production of acne causing bacteria more breakouts lucky us huh and these hormone fluctuation can just before your period can also are also responsible for other things like your moodiness your sore breast and your weird poop that you have yeah the hormones huh the hormones mm. Mm -mm -mm. And it keeps going. So even around your period, we have testosterone. Everybody has testosterone. It's not just for males. More females than males have a level of testosterone. So in our periods, we have like fluctuate. The amount of testosterone fluctuates. And it does cause the same seb uh, sebaceous gland sensitivity thing that we said. It produces sebum and clog the pores. Just the same. Especially bad around my chin. From experience, it usually come in these places. Mm -hmm. So how to soothe these, how to help with these hormonal acne, what should we do? Well, you can use a warm compress on your face. So 10 to 15 minutes at a time, like 3 to 4 times a day, you put a warm compress on your face. And that helps to soothe them and help to draw the pores. You can also use a cold compress if you don't want to use warm. So you put it on your face, a cold cloth or icy cold things in a towel. Relieve the pain and swelling from this acne. And you can also use benzyl peroxide to kill, help kill the bacteria. Because, you know, it's an active breakout and we want to tame them. So how... To, to, to treat these things we have to pick our fighters we need a cleanser cleanse your face make sure your face clean you need a glycolic acid pad to remove the dead skin and re reduce inflammation that promote new skin growth also need a benzoyl peroxide spot treatment to help to lower the strength which you start with a lower strength yeah to help with you know you want to kill the bacteria and everything you can also use over-the-counter salicylic acid products and these cleansers and creams help to keep your pores clear and you can also use my personal favorite is the tea tree oil spot treatment tea tree oil is known or shown to kill lots of bacteria and improve mild to moderate acne so that's a good one to help in that so guys remember the next time you have a breakout Think of whether it's regular or it's hormonal. Hormonal flares up around the time of your period. And yeah, they're pretty hard to birth. It's like they're never ready. They're never ready. And yeah, it's because of your hormones. Because we're females. But it's still the best gender. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. 
follow our Instagram at DN underscore medical series. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.